Welcome back Future Medicos. In this video, we are going to look at Enipoya Medical College. Enipoya Medical College is located at Mangalore in Karnataka. And in this video, we are going to look at all the details you should know related to Enipoya Medical College. So Enipoya Medical College is affiliated to Enipoya deemed to be university. And in this particular video, we will see what is the seat matrix in this medical college? What are the different categories? And in each category, how many seats are available? Who are eligible to apply for these different category of seats? If you are interested in any of the particular category, where should you apply? What is the fee structure for each category? And then finally, we will also see the cutoff marks for the different categories in the last three years. So if you want to know the details related to this particular medical college, just stay with me throughout the video so that you get complete information about this college before you select this college in the choice filling. So first of all, you need to understand that this particular medical college offers 250 MBBS seats and these 250 MBBS seats are broadly classified into four major categories. First of all, we have Karnataka State government quota under which there are 38 MBBS seats offered. Then we have deemed quota or paid seats quota or management quota or general quota, whatever you call it, the name is the same and they have 87 seats under this category. Then we have Muslim minority under which again we have 87 seats and then finally we have NRA quota where there are 38 seats available. Now, if you are interested in the Karnataka state government quota, of course, you need to be a resident of Karnataka. Only Karnataka students are eligible for this Karnataka state government quota. Other state students are not eligible for this particular category. And if you are interested in this Karnataka state government quota, and if you are from Karnataka, then you should have registered with Karnataka Examinations Authority and participate in the online counseling conducted by KEA. Now coming to the general category, for these 87 seats, all India candidates are eligible. Anybody can participate. There is no restriction basically. As long as you have cleared NEET exam, you are eligible for these 87 seats. This Muslim minority, of course, anyone from India are eligible, but they should belong to the Muslim religion. NRA quota, Basically, anyone from anywhere can apply, but of course, they should be an eligible NRI or NRI sponsored or OCI candidate. Now, if you are interested in any of these three categories, then you must register with Medical Counseling Committee and participate in the All India Counseling conducted by MCC. And generally, this registration will open after NEET results. Now, coming to the fee structure for the general category and Muslim minority quota. It is 22 lakhs per year, 22 lakhs per year. Uh, so the first four years, you will be paying 22 lakhs each. And then in the fifth year, you will be paying 12 lakhs. So the total cost is one crore. Okay, the total cost is one crore. This fees remains same as last year, but there is a small difference. Even though last year also one crore, but last year, what happened is the accommodation, that is the hostel and mess was included in the one crore last year. But now they are saying the food and ac accommodation is extra. Last year, one crore was sufficient for college fees, hostel and mess all included. But now, in addition to the one crore, we need to spend for the food and accommodation. Hostel is mandatory for all students. Now the hostel fee itself, you have two options, one triple sharing, otherwise quadruple or four people sharing a room. So if you are going for a triple sharing, then the charges are 1,80,000 per year. Okay, 1,20,000 is the accommodation. The food is about 60,000. So totally you'll be spending 1,80,000 per year. In addition to that, you'll be paying 1,400 rupees towards air conditioning. So AC rooms will cost 1,400 rupees per head per month. So roughly we are talking about 2 lakhs per year if you are going for a triple sharing. So if you are going for a four sharing, it is 1.5 lakhs per year and then 1,000 rupees 
per head per month. So that's approximately about 1,62,000. So roughly about 1.6 lakhs to 2 lakhs you need to pay in addition to the college fees. So the college fees is 1 crore. In addition to that, we will be spending roughly, let's say, about 10 lakhs extra. So roughly about 1.1 uh, 1 .1 crore is the total cost. Of course, it could vary depending on whether you go for triple sharing or four sharing. But roughly, we can say that it is about 1.1 1 .1 crore. So last year, it was 1 crore. Now it is about 1.1 1 .1 crore. Now looking at NRA quota. NRA quota, first year or first installment, it is 61,500 US dollar. And then the next four installments will be 30,750 US dollars per installment. So the total cost for NRA quota in this college is 184,500 US dollars. 184,500 US dollars. But here the food and accommodation is included. So this covers the total cost, including hostel and mess. Now converting it into Indian rupees, I checked it on Google today, that is 22nd April 2024. It roughly comes to about 1.54 crores. So if you go under general category, it is roughly about 1.1 crore. If you go under NRA quota, it's roughly about 1.54 or 1.55 crores to complete the course. Now the fee structure for Karnataka state government quota. I don't have the fee structure for the current year, but based on last year, it is about 2,5,000 per year. Of course, hostel and mess extra. So roughly we are talking about 4 lakhs to 4.5 lakhs is the cost per year for Karnataka students who get through Karnataka state government quota. Now let's move on to the cutoff marks. First, let's talk about the cutoff marks for the general category. This is the 2023 cutoff. In round one, the All India rank was 3,62,000. Round two, about 4,12,000. Round 3, more or less the same, 4,12,000. And in stay round, it went up to 1,56,000. Now, in terms of need score, round 1 was 326. Round 2 and round 3, roughly the same score around 304. Stay round, it went up to 456. So, once again, it is always good to go in round 1. If you are sure that you will not be getting government colleges or private colleges, then probably if you have decided with deemed universities, Try to go in the first round. First round, you will be able to get a better college. As you delay, if you go in round two, round three, probably the chances become lesser and lesser to get a good college in deemed university. Now, please remember why the round three cutoff did not go up too much high because 11 NRI seeds were converted to deemed quota in round three. In round three, 11 vacant NRI seats were converted to general category. That's why the round 3 cutoff did not go too high. In case if the 11 NRI seats were not available, probably the round 3 cutoff might have gone up slightly higher. Uh, but okay, once again, as I said, try to go as early as possible. Now, comparing the last three years cutoff, you can see that every year the cutoff drops slightly. In 2021, All India rank 1,75,000. In 2022, it was around 2 lakhs. And now it is about 3,60,000. So there is a drastic drop from 2022 to 23. Why? I believe there are three major reasons. The first reason for the drop, the number of seats in this particular medical college increased from 150 to 250 seats in 2023. And out of these 100 seats increased, 26 seats went to KEA and 74 seats were given to MCC. And out of the 74 seats, 29 seats came under the general category. That's why the additional 29 seats was one of the reasons for the drop in cutoff. Then also 30 seats for Muslim minority and 15 extra seats for NRA. Again, these extra 15 NRA seats also came to the general category. That is 11 seats came here. So basically, you can see that almost like 40 seats has increased under general category. So probably that's the reason the cutoff is quite low compared to 2022 or 21. That is one reason. The second reason, the fee structure is increasing every year in this college. I think compared to 2022, uh, it was around 80 to 85 lakhs, if I'm not wrong. 
and then in 2023 it has increased to 1 crore so the increase in fees is also another reason for the drop in cut off and now this year again the fees has slightly increased so probably the cut off uh, unlikely to increase i don't know whether it will drop but i don't think it will increase too much this year the third reason of course is as i have said in my previous videos every year more and more medical colleges are getting open a lot of government medical colleges are getting open so there is a chance that again the cutoffs may drop so roughly this is the cutoff in 2023 and in terms of neat score you could see that 414 in 2021 380 in 2022 and then 326 in 2023 almost like 100 marks has dropped from 2021 to 23 so probably if you are in the range of like 300 to 350 marks most likely you should be safe for this particular medical college now moving on the muslim minority quota you could see that 2023 648000 was the cut off all india rank in round 1 quite low in terms of neat score 219 marks of course you can see that every round the cut off increasing round 1 219 Round two two seventy six, round three four twenty six. Stay around it has gone up to four sixty. So it's always better going in round one. Now the previous years, you could see that there is a drastic drop in cut off from somewhere between two hundred and ten thousand All India rank to six lakh fifty thousand All India rank. So once again, the reason could be like thirty extra seats for Muslim minority that could have made a big difference. so once again here if you are interested in muslim minority if your score is somewhere between like 200 to 300 probably you should have a good chance to get into this particular medical college moving on nra quota nra quota is easier to get as long as you have a pass mark in neat most likely you should be able to get a seat in this college last year it could see that the cut off was around 11 and a half lakhs all india rank which is more or less like 115 marks to 130 marks in terms of neat score so a pass mark is sufficient even at this 115 there were still seats vacant not all the seats were filled up you can see that 11 seats were converted to general category so a pass mark is sufficient even the previous years it was not so high it was about 8 lakhs from 8 lakhs now it has dropped even lower to 11 and a half lakhs all india rank so in terms of neat score it's roughly about 115 to 150 marks it's more or less okay to get a seat in this particular medical college moving on the last category that is karnataka state government quota this is the 2023 cut off of course since it is a government quota there are various reservations uh, category 1 um, and then sub categories category 2 2a uh, 3a general merit and so on now general merit you can see that the cut off is about 563 in round 1 559 in round 2 and 566 in round 3 so roughly the general merit candidates were able to get a seat around 560 marks and then the remaining reservation categories most of the remaining reservation categories it is somewhere between 520 to 550 marks for the other categories it's somewhere between 520 to 550 and sc candidates and st candidates roughly it is around 410 to 420 marks right so that's the cut off for karnataka state government in 2023 so i hope this information is useful to you for your planning but of course i kindly request you to check the details before doing the actual choice filling because this fee structure is as per the college website as of today but there is all chances that these colleges may change the fee structure subsequently for example i posted a video on kmc manipal in february based on the fee structure published on their website but subsequently in april they have changed the fee structure so it's always important to check the official websites both mcc website kea website and the college websites for the latest information whatever i am giving you is only for your advance information for getting you ready for the counseling if you still have any doubts please post your queries in the comments below i will try to address them as quickly as possible thank you bye bye